你如果想快速的掌握中文词汇，请继续观看这个视频。Picture this: Imagine spending hours, days, months, even years trying to study Chinese words and vocabularies. Only for you to have conversation with Chinese native speaker, and within a space of thirty minutes, all you have learned suddenly evacuates your memory, and you're left blank, struggling to say beyond the basic ne hao ma. If you ever had a similar experience of having to memorize and use the Chinese words and vocabulary you've learned in conversations, or you are even looking for a way to supercharge your Chinese learning, then come. This video is for you. Today, I will go over the best system I have found so far for effectively memorizing, mobilizing, and prioritizing new Chinese vocabularies that you've learned. This will be from the combination of my own personal experience. Self-learning Mandarin Chinese and evidence-based research in the field of memory and effective learning techniques. I will walk you through on how to apply this practically and also focus on methods that is far more beyond the basics of space repetition. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amaka, and I share insights on how you can easily learn Chinese without going through hassle through my own personal learning journey. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell in order to get notified whenever I post videos on this channel. Let me know what your experience has been like in the comment section. This video is being broken into three parts: prioritizing, memorizing, and mobilizing. In each of the sections, I will break down a few different techniques that you can apply and talk about how it can fit into the structure for a complete vocabulary system. You definitely need the three parts in order to work together. It's just like three legs. Of the tripod that can't stand without each other. So the three parts are very very necessary. The first part is prioritization. Before learning any language, especially Chinese, the first important question that you're supposed to ask yourself is what to learn. In terms of what vocabulary to focus on, there are several words that you can count how many times you use them in a week. In a month, or even in a year, because they are rarely used. For instance, "functor" it is very rare to use, except if you're working in that field. While there are some words that you can make a sentence without using them. For instance, "wo," "ni," "woman," "tamen," "womenda," "nimenda," "shida." These are commonly used vocabulary, everyday used vocabulary. You can go a day without using them. So what you really need to do in order to speak quickly and communicate with people is to focus on the core central words that are frequently used in everyday life. In order to be strategic and smart about choosing what vocabulary to focus on, you can use what is called vocabulary frequency list. Vocabulary frequency list is an incredible tool that is used by so many people and is recommended by lots of people in the field of language. This tool will list out all the words. That are being frequently used to list words. You can find vocab frequency list online. You can also buy books that have vocabulary frequently used words in it. To supplement the vocab frequency list, you may also want to list down words that are related to you. It could be to your occupation or what you do in your daily life. For instance, a teacher might list down words related to teacher. For example, 老师教师同学学生 All these words are related to teacher. Or if you're into fitness, you can equally find words related to fitness, like 健身瑜伽活动运动 All these words are related to fitness. So whatever you do on your daily life, you can find something that is quite related to that particular thing you do in your daily life. With that, you can be able to communicate every day with people around you with the little vocabulary you know. And from there, you'll be able to expand it to. Advanced vocabulary. With those vocabularies that are related to you personally, you can be able to introduce yourself to someone, telling the person who you are, 
what you do for fun or what your hobbies are and also you can tell them what you do for a living first learn vocabularies that are very much related to you and your environment this is the prioritization structure where you learn the vocabulary in general and then combining it with vocabulary list of words that are very much valuable to you personally this will really allow you to communicate quickly other vocabularies that are not related to you is not really going to move the needle as much in terms of your competence in communication so now you've decided on what to learn the next question is how to learn and that brings us to number two which is memorization for memorization i absolutely love anki anki is an essential spaced repetition software where you can create flashcards to really supercharge your learning with spaced repetition my mandarin anki desk has a word in it and then when i turn over the flashcard and press show answer and then it provides a sentence where it's given in full context alongside full details of that particular character given its radical as well also deliberately gives you pictures of characters radicals as well for instance when you impute woyao chushi chan mai donshi it gives you pictures it gives you um, details of those particular characters that you put in it what i will do is to essentially repeat after the cards in order to practice my pronunciation so when you want to practice your pronunciation it will simply pop up where you can use the voice record to record your voice then it plays it back to you so that you can hear your voice of course it's pretty much cool other than the face repetition in anki in chinese a lot of words are formed with two characters sometimes you might recognize one particular character and not recognize the other character in some cases you can guess the meaning of a word by recognizing just one character so the two characters are usually combined to form a single word or single vocabulary in chinese giving you a single meaning so what i would recommend when learning a new word is to break down into each of the character that are making up the word try to understand the meaning because often they will link in some ways to the overall word and also help you put in context and relate it to the rest of the language for example dianhua dianhua means telephone call dian in dianhua means electric while hua means to speak or speaking it literally means electric speaking which is sort of like telephone on the other hand another word dian now dian now means computer dian in dian now is electric while now means now to the now that is the brain which literally means electric brain put together simply means computer dian now and dian hua both have dian in them which means electric so when you break down each word into smaller parts then you can get the general understanding of what the word in question actually means an app called pleco is very good for this i talked about pleco in my last video i emphasize so much about how you can use pleco to learn mandarin chinese you can just type in whatever word you want to learn then you can click on each of the characters then it will give you a general information or detail about that particular word or particular character that you typed in for example when you type in dian dian has lots of meaning it means electricity lightning telephone and so on and hua is a word to talk talking or speaking you can go even into the dn page click on dn and enter into the dn to see the full page of dn you will see all the words that are related to dn which gives you a general mind map of what that word is really about it really helps me to memorize words so much more effectively that when i see a word in any sentence or anywhere around i can be able to relate to what that word or what that sentence is talking about because i know what each of the characters means and what it entails in every context another tool i find so much helpful helping to put the words together and memorizing them connecting them with a whole lot of components that you're building up in your brain is comprehensible input 
In terms of vocabularies, this comprises of two major sections that you can use without the other. Firstly, reading. Getting some kind of graded reader is a good way to gradually increase your vocabulary. Often, graded readers are based off vocabulary frequency lists and they will focus more on frequently used words. You can either get graded reader books or there are some other apps that you can use to supplement that, like the which are really, really good. The second part of the comprehensible input is listening. Listening includes enjoying things like podcasts, movies, TV shows, and YouTube videos, including Chinese dramas. All of these are sort of input. While you're listening, try to identify some of the words you've learned whenever they pop in any of those listening materials. Pay attention to how it's being used in such conversation. For example, in a podcast or any listening material, if they use a word that you've learned in a context, Try to pause and read loud exactly what you heard in the podcast. Imitate the accent that was used as closely as possible. The act of imitation is very, very necessary when learning any language, especially Chinese. Imitate the accent and try as much as possible to sound like the native or the person that you heard it from. If there are some words that you've learned in the past that you're not really sure of how to pronounce it that way you can be able to learn the pronunciation and learn how to pronounce it properly now that you know what to learn and how to put it into your long-term memory by combining space repetition active recalls and comprehensive inputs now we're going to talk about how to actually use this new word so this takes us to the third part which is mobilization knowing a language especially chinese is not always about how many vocabularies you've been able to memorize it's more about whether you can be able to communicate using those vocabularies and using those vocabularies in a sentence in the most natural way to talk to people out there when it comes to language learning especially chinese too much focus are being placed on the root memorization part and not enough on the actual mobilization memorization might actually help you to score 100 over 100 in the exams but being able to use it outside there is also as good as scoring 100 over 100 in your exams do not ask yourself if you have been able to memorize the new words rather ask yourself if you can be able to use them so for this final step we are bringing it all together here are some practical ways you can put into practice to learn how to use your newly learned vocabulary words for the next few days after learning new vocabulary words try to use them in your daily lives when you look around your surroundings or your environment think of sentences to describe that particular environment or surrounding using your newly learned vocabulary it's 100 percent advice to always say them out most people will want to think in their mind and form the sentences also in their mind but it's advised to read them out i also explained the reasons reading out sentences is very much important in my last video how to learn chinese from zero to fluency you can go check it out try as much as possible to think in chinese using your newly learned vocabularies or words even if you don't know the complete sentence the first step is any new vocabulary you learn try as much as possible to come up with at least five different sentences having the word or vocabularies in them try to come up with sentences that are structurally different from each other say it loud and write it down so that your brain can learn how to synthesize and create sentences in sort of different ways with those new words again i really like pleco for this because on the page where you can see definition of words you can also see a few sentences for example the word that we used earlier bianhua we can see that there are a few sentences on that page that shows you how it's being used in different contexts for example taba dianhua guala the second tip for the next few days after learning your new piece of vocabulary use substitution methods to describe situations around you take for instance you wanted to say 
you want to eat noodles but didn't know how to say most of the words in a sentence but you just learned the word noodles which is me and tiao using substitution method you can simply say i want to eat me and tiao this is you training your brain to understand me and tiao to meaning noodles and being able to pop it in sentences the third step is practicing with a language body either in conversations where you discuss topics around a piece of vocabulary that you've learned and try to bring the piece of vocabulary into conversations alternatively when i started learning chinese what i usually like doing very well with my chinese language body is i will type a message to her about what i, I was up to in a day and include some sentences that included some vocabularies that i learned I'd send it to her and then she will correct my paragraph, read it out loud and send me a voice note. And I will listen to the voice note over and over again. That was really, really effective for some reasons because then I was using vocabularies that I had learned and I had put in the context of my life and was relevant to what I was doing. If you enjoyed this video, you might as well like this one here where I talked about how you can learn Chinese from zero to fluency. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. As always, take good care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one.